everyone. Today we have a kind of witchy, spooky gothic haul for you. It has tools, crafts, jewelry, all kinds of stuff. So let's get right into it. But if you're new, do subscribe, hang out with us, check out our spooky playlist because we have all kinds of spooky variety on our channel. We do different things so that you don't get bored, but we're always spooky. I have to show this first. I'm so excited about it. This is a metal goblet. Um, I was checking pewter and copper and all the different kinds of metals, but I found this stainless steel. These are usually $20. I forget the company, but I will give you the link in the description. But it, the cup is actually made by Winco, and Winco is like a grocery store, so I was really surprised that they made dishes. I know they sell them, but um, I didn't get this from Winco. I got this from another company online that sells like dishes and other supplies. I think the title has chef in it, but I cannot remember for sure. So, but this is amazing because look, $2 a cup and it's not like crappy and it's not lightweight and it's not like nothing's wrong with it. It's $2. So I ordered one for Gomez and myself and one for Ophelia because $2 and we're going to kind of enchant it to do some stuff like we're going to charge it to do specific things. We can use this in workings. Um, people could probably decorate them and stuff if they wanted with stones and all. I'm just going to leave it alone. It has a cute little flaring bottom and it's kind of fluted. It starts out a little bit smaller and gets a little bigger as it goes up. It's easy to hold and it's about, I would say, a six ounce. But it's just a nice quality, good stainless steel. It's not going to rust or tarnish. It came in a box, like just a box for dishes, just like a white box that holds it perfectly and then this little bag. But $2! for these goblets, chalices, whatever you want to call it. How amazing is that? That is awesome. That excited me. Like finding really good quality for not a lot of money really excites me. It just like makes my day. So that is cool. And the next item, it kind of fits our channel because it's spooky. This came from Fire Mountain Gems and they have like um, jewelry supplies. They have ready-made, they call it gifts. It's like they have gemstone spheres and all kinds of stuff. Um, and they have ready-made jewelry. So ready-made decor, jewelry, and jewelry supplies for wholesale prices. And this is a set of spider web jasper. It's a necklace and a bracelet set, but it was like a dollar and something for both together. And it's macrame, so you pull it like this to make it bigger and then pull the little beads that dangle at the end to make it shorter and it's a bead necklace and it kind of has a crisscross design in black and white so it's like I guess supposed to look like a spider web the way it goes and um, these are eight mil round beads and I like spider web because I love spiders and it just fits the spooky vibe of our channel and makes me think about Renfield my dear Renfield and then the bracelet is also macrame but it kind of has macrame that the um, macrame goes kind of in a loop around each stone and then it still has the little beads dangling at the back like the necklace does here Let's see yeah right here so they kind of have that together but the necklace is just a straight strand of beads where the bracelet um, has the macrame around each and it's knotted so it seems very sturdy and nice I think I will keep the necklace and sell the bracelet but that is how they look a dollar and some for ready-made jewelry like you can totally Christmas shop here you guys I forget the gemstone properties of spiderweb jasper I need to look them up but I can link them below so but it just seemed like it has a cool witchy feel and I like the way it looks there's so many jaspers people get fancy and loose with the names but I kind of agree with the web concept on that one. Um, I'm very picky about jaspers, which is funny. We needed some for some earth workings that we're doing, but I got a couple things of jasper in this order. But next, I want to get to my Hocus Pocus inspired piece because I love Sarah Sanderson, and since she's crazy, I got a purple because she likes purple, crazy lace agate that was actually kind of expensive. They even said it was dyed, and it's like 12 bucks for this, but I couldn't find another good one online cheaper. Um, it has a little hole on top where I will put a mounting, like um, probably use wire, but it's like decent size. It's really pretty with the purple patterning and um, I will probably put it on some black beads. So the back is just flat and the front is smooth. It's smoother than the back, but they're both nicely polished and I've never had a crazy lace agate before. So that is kind of cool and I like the way it looks for Sarah. And I like purple, so that will be cool. And they packaged it. They package everything in little Ziplocs, and then they package this in another little bubble pouch, so that's nice. Trying to get it back in there. So that's cool. And next, I just have three strands of beads. Um, the Crazy Lace, um, I think I said was 12, yeah. 
These tiger eyes were like three. These are called small pebbles. They're just a little tumbled tiger eye. Um, I'm going to make an anklet with these and then sell the extras. But tiger eye is a very warm protective stone for those of you who work with gemstones and it protects your sleep against nightmares. So that is why I like tiger eye. And it's a nice fall color. You know, it's good for the spring too, but it makes me think of fall. What do you think, Gomez, do you? Yeah. I'm trying to like cram the beads back into this bag and not have it tear. There we go. So that's what tiger eye kind of does. And the next jasper item, this is awesome. They called these medium jasper tumbled nuggets. They were the only jaspers they had. But dude, these are not medium. They're like huge. Ah. Okay. So I got two strands of these. They're like, I want to say $3 and some. And you can make, you have to make your own out of these. You just string them. But look how big those are. Those are big. And nice red jasper. Um, red jasper works with your first chakra for grounding and survival, kind of like your own security, like your secure spot that you're secure in yourself and everything. And I like red. So it is good. It's a nice energetic kind of grounding stone. I think it always makes me feel like power and energy. And so that's cool. Like obsidian grounds in a more gentle way and hematite and this just is like energetic grounding like, yeah so and I love red so that's good and what do we have next let's do these copper is really good if, if you're doing like well it's good for like circulation in your wrists and hands and all that um, especially if you have carpal tunnel or anything which we don't but it's red and I love copper because I like red red and green are like my colors and black of course but um, you always see the copper bracelets that are like the um, cuffs that you bend around your wrist. And that's cool, but I like the chain links too. And you can even hang stuff from them or you can just wear them by themselves. But these are copper chains. And um, Fire Mountain has several different kinds of copper chain bracelets. They also have the cuffs. But um, the cheapest I've seen these are 10 elsewhere and they go up to like 30. So these are 7 at Fire Mountain. And that's really cool. They might have actually been four. Maybe it was seven on Etsy and four at Fire Mountain. Yeah. So really good price. And these are lightweight but big, which I like because you can see them and they look cool. And they're like um, round chain links that are textured. So it's really cool. And then you get the properties of copper for the circulation and healing and stuff. And it's really good for sending and sending, like receiving or sending out energy. It just kind of like does that electric thing where it's it's really good for that magically so it's really cool it's a nice tool I love copper as a tool for working with stuff and just the way it looks and it's pretty jewelry and I love it love it love it so very cool can't wait to wear this this is six and a half inch so if you're like me and you have small wrists and you don't like your bracelet chain sliding down your wrists this is good but Fire Mountain has like 12 different copper bracelets to choose from in chains alone and they have plated copper and stuff too, like if you want silver with copper over it, but this is just straight copper and nothing else. And so they have 12 in copper that are just chains and it's straight. And you can choose all the different prices. None of them are that expensive and you can choose styles and how you want it to look, etc. So that's cool. Now we're moving on to the last Jasper. Not the last item, just the last Jasper. This is Kumbaba Jasper. It is green and black, which I love because two of my favorite colors. And the energy is very soothing and calming and grounding and cleansing. That's kind of what it does. So if you want to be cleansed and soothed and ground at the same time, get you some Kambaba Jaspa. And didn't you say before, Gomez, that it reminded you of like space, like outer spacey? Yes, it seems so mysterious and all that. Mysterious. <laughs> so mysterious, magical, spacey, like, I don't know. I told him it sounded like a cute Star Wars creature. <laughs> he was like... The planet where the little Kambabas live. It could be a green creature with black ears that are standing up and pointed, I decided. We're more into Harry Potter than Star Wars, but, you know, it's just what happened. It's what came to mind. And they also have animal jewelry, so I got a few items to sell that I knew the people that buy stuff for me would want. This is a really pretty turtle, if you guys are into Earth Energy and turtles. It's a nice pewter. The bale is solid. This was only a few dollars. Um, it goes like two dollars and it's really fancy shell. It even has little spikes around the edges It almost reminds me as like if the shell was a cabochon and this little spikes around the edges are the setting But it's not it's just all one solid piece of pewter But it's a very pretty fancy turtle pendant and if you like turtles But you like different versions and not the same thing all the time like that's how I am when I collect stuff, you know, like um, It's nice that they have different designs. So I used to like turtles a lot more when I was a kid I don't dislike them now 
but I work more with other animals. So that will be actually to sell. And I love frogs, and this is the way I love frogs to look. This is so cool. I used to work with hematite a lot more, but this is a hematite frog. It's my favorite frog position. I like this one over the leaping one for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but it's very detailed. The back is flat. It's solid, heavy hematite. Um, it's a good pendant size. You can put it on beads or you can just slip it on a chain because it's already a ready-made piece of jewelry as is the turtle. So the turtle was pewter, good quality, and this one is a stone. It's the hematite. So that's cool. And it's thick. It's about like almost half an inch thick. It's a good, nice weight. And hematite is healing. It works with the immune system because of the iron in it. And the iron's what makes hematite such a heavy stone. And it is also protective and grounding. And it is good for mental focus and clarity. So if you guys enjoy the way hematite looks with that pretty shiny silvery black, that's also what it does. So we hope you enjoyed this. I love all the stuff. My favorites are the chalice because it's such an amazing price for a good quality chalice and I love the um, copper bracelets because again they're unique and a good tool and those are my two favorites. What about you Gomez? I rather like the turtles, strangely, just so I need that it drew my attention. Is it pretty? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, the turtle was definitely different. I think it's worthy. I like the way the shell was done. So, yeah. What was you guys' favorite piece? Um, I will link the place where we got the chalices and Fire Mountain Gems, where everything else came from, below. And until next time... Stay metaphysical, my friends.